Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. Abacus Data just did a new survey on climate change perceptions and carbon pricing, but are they asking the right questions? Here's one. How big of a problem is climate change? Well, that depends where you live and whether or not you're prepared to survive a warming world or a cooling one. Abacus asked people, is the world warming? Well, most people said yes, but is that a bad thing? They didn't set the context of warming. Like, did you know that in the Little Ice Age, a period between 1300 and 1860, global temperatures were much cooler than today? It was so cold that crops failed, famine was widespread, people sold their children for food, and committed suicide to escape their agony. In 1709, in France, people froze to death in the streets in great numbers. Then things warmed up a bit, and we don't really know why. Abacus asked, is human activity causing climate change? Why is the world warming? Human causation or nature? If you agree that it's human causation, well, what possible reasons are most influential? Let's look at this list. Then Abacus asked, is it possible to reduce the effects of global climate change? What effects exactly are they talking about? Warming? Extreme weather? Flooding? Hurricanes? Cooling? Climate refugees? Then Abacus asked if a federal carbon price is a step in the right direction to combat global warming. But they failed to mention what the price is. Most Canadians probably figure a $20 or $30 carbon price could be bearable, even if they don't like it. But what about a $300, $800, or $27,000 price per tonne on carbon? Because that's what the latest UN Climate Panel report is proposing. We bet Abacus would have gotten a resounding no if they'd included a carbon price tag like $800 a tonne. Then Abacus tried to figure out if a carbon dividend or rebate made a big difference, and it did. But if we have an $800 a ton carbon tax on business, that doesn't mean you'll get $700 a ton in return. It means you won't have a job. Canada will close for business. No jobs and no rebates for you. In fact, you might not even be able to survive without affordable coal, natural gas, and oil. Then Abacus want to know if carbon prices will have an impact. And look at that, a wind farm in the background of that question. How did that get in there? And then they ask if leaders are committed to doing everything they can to solve climate change. Wow, 4.5 billion years of climate change on Earth makes that a pretty big task. That's pretty much unicorn thinking. Abacus then asked if people followed the recent news on the UN Climate Panel report by the IPCC. Well, that's funny that Abacus know about the report and reference it, but not the crazy carbon prices proposed by the IPCC, which we're pretty sure would have meant the Canadians would say no to carbon taxes. So we think Abacus data should ask participants to read our rebuttal report to the IPCC SR15 and then run that survey again using our questions. Good surveys start with the right context and the right questions. And we don't think Abacus data used either. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling.